This week on Lucky Fish, we get a farewell visit from the Tiki 30 with a snapper. Looking good! Lucky Fish co owner Ralph arrives. First impressions of Guatemala, Ralph? Oh, it sucks, mate. Terrible place. Never seen anything so bad in my life. I mean, look at it. It's unbelievable. <laughs> we check out an amazing Spanish castle and travel down river to find the Garden of Eden. So here it is, crunch time. We've been talking about it for months and finally it's happening. We've syndicated the ownership of Lucky Fish and the first co-owner, Ralph, has just arrived. Who are you? What are you doing on board? Have you bloody hijacked uh, <laughs> Lucky Fish? <laughs> well, Q's invited me down and uh, yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm basically feeling the ropes. Ralph arrived after a challenging trip involving three days of flights from Europe that, with the inevitable delays, became a marathon five days of flying. He started having doubts about this whole lucky fish idea. After another domestic flight in Belize, followed by a hair-raising stormy crossing in a 20-foot open boat to Livingston, and another luncher ride finally landed him on the boat in Fronteras, Guatemala. If that was a lucky fish initiation, he passed it with flying colours. We'd had the inevitable delays ourselves. Lots of rain and the discovery of some wet wood around the bridle holes in the gaffs meant repair work and further delays. This is my rather neat little workshop that I've set up here at Mar Marine. I've got to take a lot of the stuff off the boat, so I'm using this as a bit of a staging area. We'll put a lot of things into storage, lighten the boat up, give the new guys a bit of room on board to put their own personal gear. Unfortunately, I've uncovered a bit of wet wood in one of the gaffs. The bridle itself got very wet and stayed wet and water got into the gaffs and caused quite a bit of weakness around those holes. So I've dug it out, cleaned it up, got it back to fresh wood and stacked a whole lot of pieces of Douglas fir in there, packed it full of good epoxy glue and I think it's probably stronger than it was before, particularly now I've got a layer of glass over it. Clay and crew on the Tiki 30 whippersnapper swung by to say their farewells as they departed for Belize. <laughs> Looking good! <laughs> nice to see you again, eh? It's been a while. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Whee! <laughs> You betcha. All right. Thanks. Adios. Nice job, Clay. Cheers, mate. That's a proper old motor there, mate. Yeah, he's got a bit of grunt on that one. Yeah, adios. Nicely done, guys. See you. feel there's just tension arrived on both of those together and then just pull them together. Finally we had the sails spent on the masts and it was time to go sailing with Ralph. Yeah. Would you want to go on the left of that island or on the right? Well we're we going round to the left here. Yeah. yeah because we're backtracking on ourselves aren't we? Yeah. Right. So we'll get the boat set up too. Quite close to the wind, they've got right. Right. What do you think of sailing, Leo? You enjoying the sail? Grab <laughs> What's going on, Captain? Actually, the map to stand still under the bridge. 
So how's the weather been here in this last week? Not so good. A lot of rain, a lot of overcast, bits of sun. And, uh, but it's been good because at least we can prepare slowly and not be forced to... Uh, look at this. 1.3. I'm going to get the engines on, mate. It's <laughs> drifting over there. Yeah, well, we've got a stack of current against us. The yeah. river's in flood. Right. After all the rain. There must have been a metre of rain over the last... We're actually drifting over, aren't we? Okay. It was, it was running. So you had it, it running. Entering the most beautiful lake in Guatemala with a sunset in the background. Casti Felipe. Guatemala is king amazing. Nearly like the open sea. Monster lake. Manitous, pelicans and sirens. Yeah. Pretty soon it was time to dock back at Mar Marina. Ralph took the controls and docked us alongside perfectly. That way you get a chance to get on your line, keep your speed right, and your time right. After weeks of preparation, we're finally ready to head down river and Belize. Although the schedule's way behind, we don't feel any pressure to rush. The scenery and the journey is just too special to miss.
broke up the 20 mile journey to Livingston with a stop at Keo Kamado and the beautiful gardens at Burnt Key Marina. But we're out of time so that will have to wait till next week. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it and leave any comments and ask any questions below. You can really help our channel by sharing the video on social media too. As always a special thanks to our patrons. See you all next week and thanks for watching.